Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are Rainy Day Wrecks. So, as it is April, it's been raining quite a bit here, and we all, a lot of Americans know the phrase, April showers bring me flowers, so well, that is really starting to be apparent now at the end of April, so hopefully it will actually bring flowers in May. But I thought because it's been so rainy, I've just been wanting to curl up in a sweater with a blanket and either tea or hot chocolate. I drink hot chocolate like all year round, just throwing that out there and just curl up with a good book for a rainy day. And so I thought that might be a fun uh, bookish topic to talk about. So I am recommending you some books that I think would be good to read on a rainy day. So these books are gonna span across a bunch of different genres. They're not all one genre or age range. And so it's a pretty interesting list, but each book has rainy day vibes for me for one reason or another. The first book that I'm going to start off with is House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. So this one is definitely like dark and dreary vibes because this is a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling but with murder. So basically the family of the 12 daughters, they live on this island and it's pretty dark, pretty gray, pretty like wet and rainy and so it's kind of that setting that gives me rainy day vibes as well as the fact that the sisters are being randomly murdered and so we follow one of the middle sisters who wants to figure it out before it's her turn next. So that very much gives me like cozy mystery vibes even though I wouldn't say it's a cozy mystery at all. It's definitely like borderline thriller here or it is a thriller. Um, so I thought it was a fun like standalone with a mystery and dark dreary vibes that make it great for sitting and reading on a rainy day. On the other end of that spectrum, I have a YA fantasy called Red Wolf, and this is by Rachel Vincent, and this is the definition of a cozy fantasy. This book, when I was reading it, it very much was all warmth and woodsy and cozy, so exactly how I want to feel when I'm cuddling up for a book on a rainy day, our main character uh, is, is kind of like a little Red Riding Hood uh, retelling and like her, her mom and her sister run like an in-home small little bakery so you just get the warm feelings from the oven and then you have the woods and I feel like walking through a woods when it's like lightly rainy is just one of the most like atmospheric and beautiful things that you can do. This is just another like fairy tale retelling standalone just kind of cozy on up to read something warm read something that makes you just warm happy and like satisfied by the end of it now the next book i have read by listening to the audiobook of it and that is the ten thousand doors of january this is a portal fantasy i thought this would be a really this is by alexi harrow and this would be a really fun one for a rainy day because again a lot of these are just going to be like standalone it's just a one and done it's a day long type thing and I did actually read this in a day but you've got like a little bit of mystery a lot of porno fantasy a coming of age growing up mystery solving traveling main character our main character January lives with this man while her father works for this man to go and bring back artifacts from different places and she really wants to join him. She wants to be kind of this adventurer like her father, um, but she also really misses her mother. She kind of goes on her own journey when she realizes what exactly is going on between her father and the man who raised her and where these artifacts are coming from. Like I said, it's a portal fantasy, so I think you can kind of tell where this is going. But it starts off when she was young and kind of gives you this introduction of her childhood and how it leads to what she's doing now and why she is doing it and just kind of lives through her life. And so I thought it was a very interesting, like still fantasy, but also like just kind of a reflective read on somebody's lifetime. So I thought it would be a good read to just kind of sit down and casually read on a rainy day. The only other book that I don't on the, on this list is one that I haven't read yet, but 
when you know what it is, I think you'll understand why I'm putting it on this recommendation list, and that is Weather Girl. Uh, so this is an adult romance. I'm not super familiar with the specifics of what this book is about, but I believe it is about a weather girl, a woman who says the weather on TV. I believe a coworker of hers, and they're trying to make their bosses like happier, maybe find him a date or something, or get him and his ex-wife back together. Something along those lines, but those two end up falling in love instead, and the cover of this literally is in the rain and it can and I think for some people like reading an adult contemporary romance is a good vibe to have on a rainy day especially when you're talking so much about the weather uh, so for obvious reasons I included it on this list then the next one is actually a historical fiction that I have not yet read but is one that I think I'm gonna pick up on the next rainy day that we have which honestly looks like it could be later today or tomorrow so that'll be fun. Uh, but that is Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. And this is a historical fiction kind of during the Salem trial time. So this follows our main character who is from England and she ends up following the love of her life to Salem, Massachusetts, only for him to betray her. And then she invokes some family curse and she realizes that she has the gift of magic and she's in Salem, Massachusetts. So I think we can all figure out what happens there. Um, it just seems like a short little historical fiction that seems really fun to read on a rainy day and just kind of, um, I believe this is actually book one of the Practical Magic series, so this is the start of a series. So rather than a standalone, I don't think this will have a big cliffhanger, so I think it'll just be a nice little story about the Salem Witch Trials to consume on a rainy day. And then the final book I have on this list is a book that has become one of my most anticipated reads. It wasn't one and then it came out and I just got really excited for it so I immediately bought it. And that is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This is a dark academia and so again that kind of mystery dark vibes and like even the cover of the book, it's like the color scheme of what I imagine like a rainy day to be. This is about a girl and her friends who go to this like prestigious academy and they end up uh, raising a demon and this demon will give them whatever they want in exchange for them doing dark things. I think the price is something along the lines of like body parts, but I'm not 100% sure, do not quote me on that. Um, so you know, it's a, it's a dark academia, but also the town that they're in is called Rainwater. So you know, it's giving me like dark jewelry vibes. Like, like maybe even Forks from Twilight, you know, just like a, like a northern, like North Pacific or Northwest, just dark little dreary, slightly thrillery, dark academia story to uh, cuddle up to. So those are all of my recommendations on what to pick up on a rainy day. I kind of wanted them to just be shorter things you could actually pick up and read all day long. Let me know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts were and if you agree if they're good rainy day recommendations or if you have any other books that come to mind as books you think would be really fun to read on a rainy day. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video give it a thumbs up otherwise feel free to subscribe and make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays and hit the bell to be notified when they are posted. I have a bunch of bookish social media linked down below, bookstagram, book talk, book twitter all that fun stuff including goodreads so yeah feel free to follow me there but until i see you all in the next video i wish you happy reading